Quincy Taylor here, Randy May, ProBodybuilding.com. Uh, we're going to give you today, we're going to give you some uh, chocolate power pancakes. Some chocolate oh. power pancakes. Real simple. Grab yourself your, your trusty blender, get you some regular eggs. We're going eggs with just the whites. Six eggs with just the whites. You always want to try to put the eggs first because if not, the chocolate and everything will wind up clustered up on the bottom of it. So you want to try to go six eggs. Before I found this recipe, my oatmeal pancakes were kind of crummy tasting. <laughs> Two more. Yep. These are pretty good, especially when you're dieting and you can't have, and you can't eat, really eat nothing. And it's really simple to make too. It really. Makes you got the eggs in a uh, protein shake. This is the one I use. One scoop of protein. Plus you got the egg whites. One scoop of protein. Okay, throwing the cottage cheese in. I give you one spoon of that, two spoons, that's enough. Take the cottage cheese. Next step, mm, I like cottage cheese. Half a cup of uncooked oatmeal. What's next? Teaspoon of bacon powder. Teaspoon of bacon powder. Got that. Okay. Tablespoon of canola oil. I don't think there's a such thing as too much flaxseed. <laughs> I mean, you get past a certain age, flaxseed is the thing that um, softens your arteries up, makes everything work a whole lot better. It's good for your heart, lowers cholesterol. Of course, sometimes it's gonna get stuck a little bit to the sides. You want to go in there and scrape all that out. Like, you don't want to waste any of your money. Oh yeah, that's good. You want to get this thing going until it's like really nice like this. Consistency's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna spray the pan. You don't want to put too much, too little. Put it right in the center, put one. Right in the center there. Get your nice little pancake going. This stuff tastes good. I'm sorry if I'm licking everything, but it tastes really good. It tastes good to me and I can't help it. I would advise taking this and making it, getting you some uh, sugar-free syrup, throw some sugar-free syrup on there, or just regular honey, or uh, some sugar-free jelly. Oh, lost one. That's good. We'll stop that. And the, um, oh, that's good. It's very good. Again, you can cut up strawberries, bananas, any kind of berries you want. Yes. As a topping as well. Jelly. Throw some strawberries on that. Sugar-free jelly is a topping if you're really dieting. Okay, once again, you throw anything you want in there, but I say I recommend sugar-free, sugar-free um, syrup. And always throw a little bit of fruit on there because, you know, you want to throw a little bit of something on there to make it taste a little bit better. 
Always nice to throw something red on it, make it add a little color to it. Especially with the chocolate, strawberries and the chocolate. Yep, yep. strawberries and chocolate always go good together, don't it, baby? Mm -hmm. That was a racial joke, but some of you guys got it, some of y'all <laughs> didn't. Um, this Quincy Teller, Brandy May, pro is a state of mind. Goodbye.